everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to change the fonts using the Canvas HTML editor. So here we have the, um, the rich content editor that we usually use on Canvas. So this is already, it already offers a lot of features. For example, you can change the font size or make it bold, italicize, underline. There are also uh, color options available or background colors there example but the thing is um, I noticed that uh, it doesn't have a ready feature to change the font styles or that if you want it bigger than 36 points or if there's a color that you want that isn't in this color picker um, you're limited in that way so in this tutorial I'll show you how you can maximize um, your editing uh, editing and formatting features of Canvas using the HTML editor. So this is the HTML editor. So we'll go right ahead over there. So when you click it, it switches to the HTML editor. But when you click the rich content editor, it goes back to the one with the features. So we'll be using the HTML editor. And don't worry, if you do something on the HTML editor, it doesn't uh, disappear when you switch to the rich content one. Okay. So when uh, when we, I guess what I, uh, when we do H, ed, anything in HTML, we, commi uh, we set, we code using HTML tag. So this is an example of an HTML tag. So HTML, HTML. So there are always two. The opening tag, this one, and the closing tag, which is this one. And whatever command or attribute you want goes inside the, the less than and greater than sign. So the closing HTML tag always has that backslash. So what do these HTML tags stand for? So the HTML uh, tags only tells the computer when to start and to stop executing the command that we want. So for example, the HTML attribute or HTML parameter for the HTML tag for bold is P. Okay, so that's the opening tag and we have the closing tag. Don't forget. Now, when we write something, this tells the computer that whatever is between the um, opening and closing tags will be in bold. So when we switch to the rich content editor, the text is in bold, and I didn't even click the um, bold feature. Okay, there. Or strong. Uh, some uh, with with some HTML language, B can also be strong. But yeah, so they're they're the same. They're essentially the same. And when you see here, the P the P stands for the paragraph tag. It just says. Uh, to, it just tells the computer that whatever is in this block of text will be a separate paragraph from whatever we put in a separate paragraph. This is a separate paragraph. And again, it's essentially like hitting the enter button. Okay, there. Now, um, with Canvas, you can freely um, see you, 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 have, you still have to switch between the rich content editor and the HTML editor to see what's happening in the text. So uh, for the purposes of our tutorial, I'll be using an online HTML editor there so that we can see in real time what's happening to the text when we apply uh, certain parameters. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so here we go. Um, so the first thing is, uh, as you can see with the, as you saw a while ago with the HTML editor, Canvas automatically types in the P, automatically types in the P tag. So this is a paragraph there. Now what we're interested in is how do we make, how do we change the font style first? Okay, so we do span. We do the span first. Span back. Span. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me transfer this over here. There. 
So, like I said, the tags tells the tags tell the computer when to start and when to stop applying the cer certain parameters that we set. So the span is where we put the style parameter. So style is the attribute that we want. We want to change the style of this paragraph. So this is how we code it. Span, style, and then equal sign. The first parameter that we want is the font style, right? So we want to change the font family. Now, when we're, start, when we're entering the values for the attribute, don't forget to use open and close open and close quotation marks. So for example, the font family that we want to change it to Times New Roman because this is in some ser sans serif font. So we want something serif. Okay, font family, that's the value. Font family, because we're changing the font style. Font family, colon, and then type in Times New Roman. And there we go. The paragraph is now in Times New Roman. Cool, right? Okay. Now, what if I want to change it to a different font? Okay. So, same thing. We have the P and we have this span tag, right? And then style, again, equal sign, open and close, quotation mark, and in between the open and close, Close quotation mark. That's where we put the value. So the value is one family equals, let's say, copper plate. And then in between the span tags, that's where we put the text that we want to type. This para paragraph is in the font copper plate. Awesome. Now, one thing that you have to that we have to remember when we're editing the fonts is that not all fonts are web-based or web or are not all fonts are web friendly. So I can give you a list of the fonts that I found that works with the Canvas LMS. Okay. Yeah, so maybe that's one of the feet that's one of the reasons why they decided to do away with it altogether because some um, if we have a lot of options for fonts, may, some fonts may not work for com other computers, well, it might work for some, and we want to make it as cohesive as possible. So yeah, you have, um, I'm, I'll just send over uh, the list of fonts and the code that you will have to type in to access that font, so this one. So fan family, fun family, copper plate, or if you're feeling fun, if you're feeling fun, equals fun family, <laughs> comic sans MS is this paragraph is in comic sites there <laughs> all right so again some important details to remember is that when you put in the values always make sure that they go inside the open and close um, quotation marks the the text go between the less than sign and the greater than sign and when you open when you open a tag, so open a span tag, you open a P tag, you always have to close it. Okay. So, there. Now, let's go back to sandbox. Okay. Now, how do we do it now? So, P, and then, so, I usually type it like this. Uh, with the HTML editor, it, it automatically places the close tag. But with the HTML editor, you have to type it manually. So in, just so I don't forget typing the close tags or 
just so I don't lose track of all my tags, especially when I'm doing large blocks of text. I usually type it already and then just edit it in between. So span backslash there. Now, I want, again, we want the text to, the text that we want to edit should go between the opening and closing span text. So span, this is the text I want to change there. So if you can remember, span, and then the attribute we want, we want to change is style there. And then we enter the values equals the value that we, the value to change the font is font family. So open and close quotation mark. And then in between the open and close quotation mark, we type font family times new Roman. Let's see if it works. There. So the text is now in, in Times New Roman. That's, that's all we did to change it. Okay. There. Now, the same thing applies if you want to change the font size. Okay. Now, next. P. Well, we're changing the font size now. So again, we're changing the style. Font size is still part of the style. So font uh, span style equals. Now instead of font family, we type font dash size. And then colon, we put the size that you want. So it only goes up to 236, right? So and it there are certain it skips some numbers. So what if I want it 50? So 50 P T. So points, 50 points. And then let's type our text. This text is size 50. Let's see if it works. There. This text is size 50. Whereas This is okay. Oh, wait. This is just 36. Now, see, when you there, when you do when you do anything in the rich content editor, it all automatically translates to an HTML code. So I just want to remove this so we see font size lang. Size 36. There. Got it. Okay. Next on our list of uh, for this tutorial is changing the font colors. Okay. So to change the font colors, okay, let's go here to the HTML editor because we're going to need the hex codes. So from the color picker. Let's do something and style one times fifty fifty If you want to change the color, we're going to need a universal language for um, for a computer to understand what the color is. So you can't just say blue or white because there are very uh, many shades of blue. So we use a color picker. So this is called the hex code. Hex code because there are six characters to um, assign to a particular color. 
So my favorite color is something is a teal, a dark teal color there. So this is the hex code that I want. So let me just copy that, copy. So control C, I copied it. So just there, copy. Now, when I if I want to change the font color, it's going, I'm going to do, oops, sorry. So there's the paragraph tag and there's the span tag. Okay, so style equals, so st again, style is the attribute and the value that we want to change is the color. So color, colon, number sign, and then let's paste our hex code and then close quotation. This is my favorite color. See, it's now in teal. If you can see, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see. So, and another thing is you can combine, you can even combine different um, parameters. So I, wa I want it teal and at the same time, I want it size 50. And at the same time, I also want it on family in Times New Roman. There. So this is my favorite color. So it's in size 50. It's in hex code 36705B. And it uses the font style Times New Roman. Okay. That's how it. So that's the um, HTML tag that we're going to use. Going back to the rich content, ed uh, to the HTML editor on Canvas, same thing. So P, P, span, span. Okay, so let's do style equals on so let's do a mix of different parameters of so 50 50 one family let's say copper plate the one that we used a while ago and then uh, color which is number three six seven zero eight. oh don't forget the um, close quotation so this is now favorite color. Let's see. There we go. So this is my favorite color. It's in size 50. It's in the fun copper plate. There. So those are some ways to help you maximize the editing power of Canvas. So you're not just limited to the rich content editor, but with a little um a little know-how of editing with HTML, it opens up a whole lot of possibilities on how you can for you can design and create and format your modules. All right, so that's it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and see you uh, in our next tutorial, whatever that may be. <laughs> Thank you.